Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kitty Pie's Love Life, where you can once again see me! Um, so I have no idea what happened with my webcam in the last episode. I just restarted OBS, and things seem to be back to normal. So hopefully, um, things stay back to normal. If this becomes a recurring thing, may need to look into what's going on. Um, Eddie didn't like her day at work. She's chic, she's a lifestyle guru. Um, so let's try and get her maybe a new chic job. I now can't hear my game. Oh my goodness. Hello there, cash money. Okay, um, so do we have a restaurant job that we could get her? I thought we did, but it might be old. No, she, there's an executive chef She's job. She's a client. Um, where is she? There she is, Eddie. Edie. Might be Edie. So let's try and get her in even today. I saw a biographer position open up. Hopefully people are meeting each other. Oh, and it's it's definitely time. Let's let's expand our town. So is that the largest our town can get? Yes. Alright. So, let's look at locations and determine what we might want to get. Actually, before we do that, even, let's look at our clients. And, so let's see. Artie, Artie, they're about to leave, though. So, chic, vintage, Artie, chic, hippie, chic, questionable, Artie, practical. It's not already impractical, is it? Is it? It's practical and already. Oh my goodness. You guys, I love you. You're perfect. Okay, so we've got like already and chic being like really big right now. Hippie, a little bit, but not too much. So, we want stuff that already slash chic people like. So, what about the shopping mall? Glam and chic like it, but it's not that big. So, I know this is glam and chic, and already vintage hates it. The casino hotel is fun. They do give a lot of money. Chic... Would really like the business center. Um, I don't know about that. The broadcasting company is glam and chic. I'm just kind of looking through everything again. I know we've we've done this before. The nightclub, the leisure center is sporty. Should have figured on that one. Um, the park, the gallery. Artie would love the gallery. Um. She likes it. She so let's, an empty space. Let's bring that in. We'll put that right there. So we still have a little bit more money. I don't know if I want to spend a thousand. I probably don't. Something in like this area would be good. Um, we do have one practical type. It's just the one. Granted, do we have any place that the practical types actually like? The, the hospital, right? We have the hospital? We do. So we do have something for them, at least. Alright, help Edie get her new job. I was like, we can't have nothing for them. That wouldn't be good. Do we have anything for the hippies? I don't know if we do. You must be Edie. My name is Sarah. I'm going to be conducting your interview today. Which position are you interested in applying for? You don't look like executive chef material. I mean, what's she supposed to look like? I think there will be a lot of planning involved. Probably not that important. You, you have to have your schedule. Apparently they should be active. We are completely unsuitable, so we've been rejected. Of course we have. Sorry, Edie. We'll, we'll keep our eye open for you. Maybe we can get you a job someplace else. Seriously, though, do we have any place for the hippies? Like, do they like anything that we've got? 
because we have a hippie type I'm slightly concerned because I don't believe they like the um, bear I thought they did but they don't so we might need something for the hippie types actually in which case Organic farm spice. isn't a bad choice. I just don't think that's a good spot for it. Ooh. What I like about the organic farm is it's inexpensive. Actually, this is like the perfect spot for it. We just need to like get rid of obstacles. So let's just go ahead and put it in because I don't want to have ah. my poor hippie guy have nowhere to go. So there we go. Dweezil needs our help. Dweezil, I think, is moving out tomorrow. I thought we might have. I thought we had somebody moving out today, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Welcome to the gallery. My name's Elena. I'm the collections uh. manager. <laughs> Would you be able to do a little favor? I need you to go around the back and knock up a quick painting. Uh. I mean, this sounds like fun. Go bang out a painting. I want a gift. We don't have all the gifts in the gallery, pretty sure. Like, that sounds like fun. I would want to do that. I mean, I guess if it's going to hang up in the museum for, like, all time, people will be like, ew, what is this? We'll call it abstract. I mean, to me, like, I think that'd be really fun to just get to paint and put it up in the museum. Oh, it's new. I didn't even notice it told you when stuff was new. It's nice that it does that. But yeah, I think I think that's so fun. Gift shop for you right now. Like, if you gave me thirty bucks to just go paint for a while, thirty bucks for me. You can have the painting. I am not a particularly amazing painter. I mean, I've I've tried painting. I'm not like the world's worst painter. I think when I paint something, you can usually tell what it is. So, that's nice. Um, all right, Molly. Oh, she just wasn't going to have a makeover. Oops, that's right. We had one we couldn't actually schedule it with a makeover. The timing just didn't work out properly. Okay, so he's going to be upset like a little butt. All right, he likes the balloons. That's the exact same outfit she had on yesterday. He's in a good mood. <laughs> Alright, he likes the book of haiku poetry. Yeah, he's gonna be like, but you don't know my inner type, but she knows hers, so. Alright, it's the cloud What's game, the but it's on easy. Clouds? We did it on VIP, we can do it on easy. Okay, World, World, World Cup. Which dream didn't appear? Person. We could start our own movement. Neo Kittyism. Okay. Bulb Bulb World Cup. Which dream had the smallest cloud? Cup. Very much so cup. This is much easier than I remember it being. I still thought we had four choices for easy, but apparently we only have three. Okay. Uh World World Bulb Bulb. Let's see which, which one didn't appear. To the top. Oh. I was sure it was going to be which one didn't appear. I was about to go like all in on money when it was not money. Okay. We've got money house, world house. Which dream had the largest cloud? Money. Definitely money in that case. We just go bonkers and blow all our hard-earned savings on art by people no one's ever heard of. That is not hyper-optimal. Do not say that. Do not give her ideas. Okay. House, world, brick, brick. Which dream appeared the most? Brick, brick. Brick, 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 no, we're fine, we're fine. Never mind. I got a little worried, but we're all fine. There there was no cause for alarm. Well done, kitten. Since Hyper Optimal, our future together is assured we will be together forever. 
We have achieved relationship perfection, happiness, overload. Let's pack up all of our belongings and inform our friends of our immediate, of our imminent departure and Peggy, obviously. Yeah, you should tell me so that I can at least go find somebody else to take over your rent. Okay, being a landlord is not easy, Molly and Dweezel. All right, here we go, level 10. We're a love technician. Look at that first prestige. All right, we've reached level 10, and we've done it in episode 100 of Kitty Power's Love Life. So I'm so glad you guys are still here and still watching and enjoying it, because it's, uh, oh no, they had no friends between them. That's so sad. Um, so if we have an arty type that wants a new job, there's an art gallery management position. Actually, Edie might be dressed kind of arty. So let's go ahead and try and get a tip for Edie. Choose a client. Um, we can't. Imagine going in for like two uh, job interviews in the same day with the same person. That'd be awkward. I mean, normally, like I've heard of people doing that, but because you go like to the different companies, you're with different people. It'd be weird to just do them back to back with the same person. Like here I am again, but for a different job this time. <laughs> Uh, I'm in the mood to practice not tying if you are in agreement. I have a terrible headache. I can't open the aspirin bottle. Could you help me out? We haven't had to do the aspirin game in a while. Of course it's VIP level. Turn the lid and listen for the clicks. What? Really? It's so sensitive on VIP. I don't like it. Okay, we're not getting a jackpot, but... Really? I'm just saying I pretty much had it. But we removed the cap, and now she can do something about her headache. All right, so they're gonna go practice not tying. <laughs> I had that last one, I'm just saying. Just saying. All right, so should we start trying to set up friends? I feel like we probably should, you know? Friends are important. Um, so I... Ooh, we've got two sheets. That's not what I wanted. So let's invite you in. Like, I'm just going to invite in like everyone I can today. And it's just to set up friends. We'll probably end up with doubles. And that's okay. Why is it okay? Because friends are good. And just because also we can deal with that very easily later. Do you have any contacts? No, you don't, so there's no point in me inviting you in. Just hold off for a second, Dominic. It's all gonna be fine. She can already... I'm not really sure that's gonna work out either. Alright, so let's go ahead and help out Dominic before we continue our friend-making tirade. So well, good, we're having some deed together, isn't it, darling? I got an itch in my back I can't quite reach. Could you give it a quick scratch for me? Sure. Search the grid to find the itch. Down a bit. Ooh. To the left of it. We got it. I'm so glad we got it. I was like, we might not get this. All right, but we did it. Let's go back to having something to eat. Alright, so where were we? Right there. So Faith, you are you guys are very, very new. So it's not that surprising. Vintage and arty. I mean, there's potential, but I don't know if it would work. Oh, we gotta get more people in, of course. Um, chic and arty. He might like boutique businesses, actually. So let's go ahead and we'll bring in Nyla. 
We won't replace sleeping though. We'll bring her in tomorrow. So let's go ahead and look for that last set of new people for our like brand new revival. I think we're we're done. One more set. Um Foreign films, Tai Chi and Microbeat. So we need a glam and a geek, preferably. She's a hippie, so I'm pretty sure this is hippie geek. So this is definitely geek and chic. Chic and glam, I can never get them right. Okay. Okay. So these two... These two, like, they're VIP disasters. But honestly... Oh, and she's hipster. Let's go with them. They seem fun. They're gonna be our VIP problem couple. We don't even know them yet. It's already true. Pretty much can guarantee that. Hello everyone, hi. Welcome to East Gosscroft. You should introduce each other since you're all here in my waiting room. Um, I mean, two of you are like with each other and already trying to get engaged, but you know. Let's do painting and decorating. Yay, it's gonna be great. Everybody's gonna be friends. And that's all he can do. He, he only has one open slot. So we're going to send him on his way. Let's talk about you spending time with friends. So you're vintage. And I think you can have stuff in... Um, in common with those other two types. You just don't necessarily. But it, it's possible. So what was the other one you had? And would a chic person like it? I think a glam person would like it. And chic and glam have a lot of overlap, but it's not perfect. And this is one of the cases I'm really iffy on. I don't know if chic will like it, but we will never know unless we try. Now, will I remember it the next time I try and do this? Let's be honest, probably not. All right, most grateful. No! I didn't mean to click that. I'm so sorry. Please come back. I wanted I wanted to talk with you. I also wanted to click that. Okay. We're just going to invite him like right back in. Just turning it around. She's I need to check my kitty feed because I think people are complaining and I haven't been catching their complaints. Now it's too early I think for anyone to have an affair because like they don't know anybody yet. Okay. Um, so we've got two vintage types. Is a chic type. Uh -huh. Now I think the sheet chic type yeah. would like haute couture potentially. Uh -huh. um, and then the vintage uh -huh. types. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't think a vintage type is going to like promoting new school thinking. That I I don't think will work. Um, but yoga potentially. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So let's give it a shot. Uh -huh. Let's let's just try and make as many friends as possible. Alrighty, there we go. Did we ever find a cat today? Just around anywhere? Oh, I thought I saw her. So I feel like we might not have. Like I might have forgotten in my busyness. Oh, yep, we did. Alright, so quickly before this is over, let's just look at the complaints. Lottery tickets are boring. Uh, Timmy wants friends. Amy wants friends. Dweezel wants friends, but he's gone. Did I interrupt Humphrey's sleep? Did I do that? I feel like I did that. Um, Edie wants a better job, which... I guess we're getting her one tomorrow? Did we not do that today? Did we schedule it for tomorrow? I'm very confused. I thought we scheduled it for today, but we must have scheduled it for tomorrow. Either way, no big deal. Intimate time, beds calling, all that normal stuff. But everything seems to be going quite well in East Gosscroft with our new set of wonderful clients. But that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Pegasus, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.